Hi friends, let me give you a second to pop on. I'm gonna just do a mini quick discussion on rules. Um, I haven't been on live in a while and I like to get you guys a little bit of updated. So let me give you guys a second here to log on. Oh, hi, oh, hi, beautiful, I just saw you. So we're gonna talk about rules, 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 right? Something I'm so fond of, you all know, I'm not a big fan of rules, and it's because you've been taught rules, right? So many of us have been taught rules, and we don't realize that the rules are not benefiting you, the rules are not helping you. The rules that you have in your head of being a good person, of being successful, of being driven, are not to your benefit. And I bring the rules up because you're going to have a full moon in what, 48 hours. So you're all feeling this. So people keep asking me, what is happening, Don? Why do I feel like this? Why do I feel pressure yet? I feel like I wanna be free at the same time yet. It's like high, low, high, low, in, out, in, out. And it's this crickets of, you know, silence to chaos, crickets and chaos. What's happening is there's a full moon in Sat or in Capricorn and it's on Saturday, on the 3rd, July 3rd. And again, the moon, the planets, Saturn, they don't do anything to you. What is happening though, is it's an energy frequency. It's an energy form that is passing over us. And this full moon in Capricorn, which rules, rules, order, structure, control. And so it's going to ask you, what kind of rules you have? Are you in control? What do you need to take control of? It's going to pressure you because full moons are all about closure. So if you can't put closure to something, it's going to force you to look at things you don't wanna look at. Now the blessing always of full moons is that full moons have a closure element to them, but they're also water. The moon rules water, it rules your emotions. And so it says, hey, emotionally, what would make you feel better? What do you want in your life? What is your body telling you? What does your mind tell you? What's your environment telling you? Everyone's fighting all the time. Then don't go there, right? My body doesn't feel good. Ask your body what it wants. It will always tell you emotionally in this moon what you need to put closure to. So what it's asking is to lay a foundation, make a plan. So number one, full moon, in Capricorn, what does it want from you on Saturday? It wants you to make a plan. And then number two, this full moon is about closure. And it says, what is the list that you're going to create for this plan? And it can be very small, but start making a plan and getting one step at a time done. Now it could be dating. I know I talk a lot about marriage. Um, it could be getting married. It could be all these different things. It could be to, you know, um, try a new hobby. It should be to try an, a, a new sport. I, I, it fascinates me because we, we don't think about what happens in the world around us that you're not part of. Like if it's not part of your tiny little world and the rules that you were taught and this is how it is to live, we get all tripped up, right? Have you ever thought about it? There are people who are masters at fencing. There are people who are masters at baking. There are people who are masters at swimming masters at rock climbing, masters at, you know, cooking, masters at writing, speaking. Have you ever thought of that? We all have gifts. So make a plan to how you want to live your life. Capricorn says, lay a foundation, what that plan is, and then start tri tripping up or, or ticking off and, and checking off that list until you get there. That's what Saturn and Capricorn and all this energy wants from us. So anyway, I, I just, I, I feel it. I've been feeling it myself. You all are already feeling this full moon that's gonna happen in Saturday because it's a super moon, super bright. You're all gonna see it in the sky. It's a really big moon, but it's a blessing because it's about closure. So let's put closure to all the old past that you do not want to repeat. Quit trying to repeat your history and build a new history choose the life you want. Now, here's the tip. 
The rules tell you, but they're your family, but they're your friends. You've been friends with them for 30 years. You've known that person or that career, that company you've been, they've been your attorney. They've been your accountant. They've been your local grocery store for however long. Who cares? There are no rules anymore. The rule is, is that if it fills your soul and it makes you feel good, go do it. But if it doesn't feel good energetically, your body will react. Your body will react to people that it doesn't feel good around. Your body will get sick. It will get exhausted. You'll feel run down around energies or social groups that you don't feel good around. The ones who bring you up in energy, who raise your vibration, who who rise you, you push you to higher levels, they feel good. Even if they're pushing you to grow, it feels good to be around them. So what I'm trying to get you guys to wake up to understand is this moon is going to do what it wants to do energetically and send waves of energy forcing you to create closure to what you don't want and start making a list of getting what you do want. Where do you want to go in life? What do you want to create? And it's going to start opening up the entire planet, all of us, to start creating a new plan and living your best life because living your best life doesn't always fit into the social circles you've always been in to the family you've always been in to the company you've always been in to the community that you've always been in and it's going to feel uncomfortable and saturn says i don't care climb the mountain anyway capricorn the moon is emotions so a lot of you may be having wonky emotions my emotions have been off the charts the last couple of days i'm already feeling it so I've been like, okay, what is coming up? A lot of you might be having a lot of emotional, um, call it rumination. You keep thinking about old stuff, old experiences, memories. Memories are popping up from the past, constantly over overriding you, you know, rolling over and over and over like, oh my gosh. Like, oh my God, it makes you angry again, makes you sad again, makes you depressed again, makes you pissed off again, whatever it was. And remember, it's just asking you to put closure to that. And you can't put closure to things if you don't have somewhere to go. So what do you want? Make a list of how you're going to get there. And don't, don't worry about how fast it is. Just know where you're trying to go. Maybe it's get yourself out of debt. Maybe it's get yourself uh, a new budget. Maybe it's travel. It doesn't matter what you pick. Okay? Okay. So anyway, there was just a little bit of, I wanted to check in with all of you because this full moon is a super full moon and you're all feeling it, especially Cancers and Capricorns. Cancers are the ruling, they, they're ruled by the moon, that's their planet, and Capricorn is the opposite sign of Cancer. So, and again, we're in Cancer, all you Cancers, happy birthday, Cancers. Uh, it's my baby's birthday this weekend. Uh, sorry, my big baby, my oldest baby, but it's her birthday. And so um, it's Cancer season. Cancer is ruled by the moon. Capricorn is opposite. It's a super moon. None of you getting out of this. So I'm giving you a little tip. Make a plan about what you want. Be okay to let, a, let go of the rules that are telling you it's not okay to be you in the world that you're in. And tell them, I don't give a shit. Don told me to pick what I want. And back out of anything that doesn't support that. Back out of anything that is not encouraging me to grow. Your body will tell you if it doesn't feel good, it doesn't mean you call people out, call environments out, call situations out. Just back out and move on to the next step. You do need to say anything. You don't need to do anything other than focus on your outcome. And I guarantee you this full moon in Capricorn will help you get there because those are the blessings of letting go of the past. Okay? All right, my friends, I'm not going to stay on long. I just wanted to update you with what's coming up. It's big, it's strong, and you're not wrong. All these emotions you're feeling, they're to bubble up so you can just let them go. So I want you to focus on, I no longer allow emotions or experiences to get stuck in me. I simply let them flow. Repeat that again. If a thought, an emotion, a memory, and an experience pops up, I no longer allow these things to get stuck in me. I simply allow them to flow through me. And they will, because this moon wants that. You guys have an amazing weekend. Happy holiday. Brightest blessings. Happy 4th of July. I love you all. And I will see you all on Monday for Truth Tribe. We will have a discussion on this. You guys have a great day. Take care.